सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट चैप्टर फोर प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री पेज नंबर सिक्सटी टू फोर पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री वेन टू एडजस्टेंट साइड्स एंड थ्री एंगल्स आर नोन एज बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विथ कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ ट्राइंगल एंड then look for the fourth point to complete the quadrilateral example 3 construct a quadrilateral mist where mi is equal to 3.5 cm is is equal to 6.5 cm angle m is equal to 75 degree angle i is equal to 105 degree and angle s is equal to 120 degree page number 63 solution here is a rough sketch that would help us in deciding our steps of construction we give only hints for various steps you can observe it in figure 4.15 figure 4.15 here we have a quadrilateral mist the side IS measures 6.5 cm MI measures 3.5 cm angle M is equal to 75 degree angle I is equal to 105 degree angle S is equal to 120 degree step 1 how do you locate the points what choice do you make for the base and what is the first step You can observe this in figure 4.16. Figure 4.16. Here we have an angle MIX. The angle measures 105 degrees. MI measures 3.5 cm. IX measures 6.5 cm. There is a point S on IX. Step 2. make isy is equal to 180 degree at s you can observe this in figure 4.17 figure 4.17 here we have the same angle we had in figure 4.16 a line has been extended from s to the point y this line is sy isy is a 120 degree angle page number 64 step 3 make angle imz is equal to 75 degree at m where will sy and mz meet mark that point as t we get the required quadrilateral mist you can observe it in figure 4.18 figure 4.18 here we have a quadrilateral mist the angle mis is 105 degree the angle ymi is 75 degree the angle isy is 120 degree is measures 6.5 cm mi measures 3.5 cm IS has been extended to the point X MT has been extended to the point Z think discuss and write 1 can you construct the above quadrilateral MIST if we have 100 degree at M instead of 75 degree 2 can you construct the quadrilateral plan if pl is equal to 6 cm la is equal to 9.5 cm angle p is equal to 75 degrees angle l is equal to 150 degree and angle a is equal to 140 degree hint recall angle sum property 3 in a parallelogram the lengths of adjacent sides are known 
do we still need measures of the angles to construct as in the example exercise 4.3 one construct the following quadrilaterals one quadrilateral more mo is equal to 6 cm or is equal to 4.5 cm angle m is equal to 60 degree angle o is equal to 105 degree angle r is equal to 105 degree 2 quadrilateral plan pl is equal to 4 cm la is equal to 6.5 cm angle p is equal to 90 degree angle a is equal to 110 degree angle n is equal to 85 degree 3 parallelogram HEAR HE is equal to 5 cm EA is equal to 6 cm angle R is equal to 85 degree 4 rectangle OKAY OK is equal to 7 cm KA is equal to 5 cm page number 65 4.2.4 when three sides and two included angles are given under this type when you draw a rough sketch note carefully the included angles in particular example 4 construct a quadrilateral abcd where ab is equal to 4 cm bc is equal to 5 cm cd is equal to 6.5 cm and angle b is equal to 105 degree and angle c is equal to 80 degree solution we draw a rough sketch as usual to get an idea of how we can start off then we can devise a plan to locate the four points you can observe this in figure 4.19 figure 4.19 here we have a quadrilateral abcd ab is 4 cm bc is 5 cm cd is 6.5 cm angle abc is 105 degree angle dcb is 80 degree step 1 start with taking bc is equal to 5 cm on b draw an angle of 105 degree along bx locate a 4 cm away on this we now have b c and a you can observe this in figure 4.20 figure 4.20 here we have angle abc it measures 105 degree ab is 4 cm bc is 5 cm the line ba has been extended till x step 2 the fourth point d is on cy which is inclined at 80 degree to bc so make angle bcy is equal to 80 degree at c on bc you can observe this in figure 4.21 figure 4.21 here we have the same angle as in figure 4.20 an angle of 80 degrees has been made at bcy page number 66 step 3 d is at a distance of 6.5 cm on cy with c as center draw an arc of length 6.5 cm it cuts cy at d you can observe this in figure 4.22 figure 4.22 here we have the same image as we had in figure 4.21 an arc has been made at the line cy and the point d has been marked there cd measures 6.5 cm step 4 complete the quadrilateral abcd abcd 
is the required quadrilateral. You can observe this in figure 4.23. Figure 4.23. Here we have a quadrilateral ABCD. The angle ABC measures 105 degree. DCB measures 80 degree. BC is 5 cm. CD is 6.5 cm. AB is 4 cm. BA has been extended till X. CD has been extended till Y. Think, discuss and write. 1. In the above example, we first drew BC. Instead, what could have been the other starting points? 2. We used some 5 measurements to draw quadrilaterals so far. Can there be different sets of 5 measurements other than seen so far? To draw a quadrilateral, the following problems may help you in answering the question. 1. Quadrilateral ABCD with AB is equal to 5 cm, BC is equal to 5.5 cm, CD is equal to 4 cm, AD is equal to 6 cm and angle B is equal to 80 degrees. 2. Quadrilateral PQRS with PQ is equal to 4.5 cm, angle P is equal to 70 degree, angle Q is equal to 100 degree, angle R is equal to 80 degree and angle S is equal to 110 degree. Construct a few more examples of your own to find sufficiently or insufficiently of the data for construction of a quadrilateral. Page number 67. Exercise 4.4. 1. Construct the following quadrilaterals. 1. Quadrilateral DEAR. DE is equal to 4 cm. EA is equal to 5 cm. AR is equal to 4.5 cm. Angle E is equal to 60 degree. Angle A is equal to 90 degree. 2. Quadrilateral TRUE. TR is equal to 3.5 cm. RU is equal to 3 cm. UE is equal to 4 cm. Angle R is equal to 75 degree. Angle U is equal to 120 degree. 4.3. Some special cases. To draw a quadrilateral, we used 5 measurements in our work. Is there any quadrilateral which can be drawn with less number of available measurements? The following examples examine such special cases. Example 5. Draw a square of side 4.5 cm. Solution. Initially, it appears that only one measurement has been given. Actually, we have many more details with us. Because the figure is a special quadrilateral, namely a square. We now know that each of its angles is a right angle. Observe the rough figure, figure 4.24. This enables us to draw triangle ABC using SAS condition. Then D can be easily located. Try yourself now to draw the square with the given measurements. Figure 4.24 This is a rough figure. Here we have a square ABCD. All the sides measure 4.5 cm. Example 6 Is it possible to construct a rhombus ABCD where AC is equal to 6 cm and BD is equal to 7 cm? Justify your answer. Solution. Only two diagonal measurements of the rhombus are given. However, since it is a rhombus, we can find more help from its properties. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of one another. So, first draw AC is equal to 7 cm and then construct its perpendicular bisector. Let them meet at zero. 
cut off 3 cm lengths on either side of the drawn bisector. You now get B and D. Draw the rhombus now based on the method described above. You can observe it in figure 4.25. Figure 4.25. Here we have a rhombus ABCD. Two diagonals have been drawn AC and BD. The angle at their point of intersection is a 90 degree angle. The line BD has been divided into two parts of 3 cm. AC measures 7 cm. Try these. 1. How will you construct a rectangle PQRS if you know only the lengths PQ and QR? 2. Construct the kite EASY if AY is equal to 8 cm. EY is equal to 4 cm and SY is equal to 6 cm. You can observe this in figure 4.26. Which properties of the kite did you use in the process? Figure 4.26. Here we have the shape of a kite. It is EASY. ES and AY are diagonals. The sides EY and EA are equal to each other. Similarly, SY and AS are equal to each other. The diagonals intersect at a point which makes a 90 degree angle. Page number 68. Exercise 4.5. Draw the following. 1. The square READ with RE is equal to 5.1 cm. 2. A rhombus whose diagonals are 5.2 cm and 6.4 cm long. 3. A rectangle with adjacent sides of lengths 5 cm and 4 cm. 4. A parallelogram OKAY where OK is equal to 5.5 cm and KA is equal to 4.2 cm. Is it unique? What have we discussed? 1. Five measurements can determine a quadrilateral uniquely. 2. A quadrilateral can be constructed uniquely if the lengths of its four sides and a diagonal is given. 3. A quadrilateral can be constructed uniquely if its two diagonals and three sides are known. 4. A quadrilateral can be constructed uniquely if its two adjacent sides and three angles are known. 5. A quadrilateral can be constructed uniquely if its three sides and two included angles are given. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Shanu Muksim Assistance in Production Somya Malik Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by C-I-E-T, N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.